Hi, I'm Adam Drake from Yuginsiki Racing, and today I'm going to show you how to remove your clutch nut when you have a spun flywheel. Uh, this isn't very common, but when it does happen, it can be a pain, uh, especially if you use thread lock to secure the clutch nut. So, what you want to do is just take a zip tie, a uh, larger, uh, you know, like maybe a eight inch zip tie, and you'll double it up. Make sure it's kind of pinched together tight. And then you'll take and turn the crankshaft until the piston is at dot bottom dead center. And then basically what the zip tie is doing is just locking the piston in place. Um, if you used a lot of thread lock, you may want to double up and use a second zip tie just to be safe. And then you can just go ahead and remove the clutch nut. Sometimes um, you'll actually cut the zip tie. It's not really a problem as long as you remove the cooling head and the head button and take that piece of the zip tie out of the engine. But being that it's a fairly soft plastic, it won't damage or hurt anything in the engine. So from there, you'll want to just inspect the collet as well as the flywheel, make sure that there's no damage, clean off any debris or old thread lock from the threads of the crankshaft as well as the flywheel, or I'm sorry, clutch nut. And once you do that, you can go ahead and put a little bit of blue thread lock onto the threads of the crankshaft slide the flywheel on and then I'll just use my left hand to kind of pull it tight towards the front bearing and install the clutch nut. You can also use the zip tie for this process when you're tightening the clutch nut down. Again, you only really need to do that if, if there's like kind of an excess of thread lock and the nut is hard to turn. But you want to make sure if you use a zip tie for securing the flywheel that you just use it until you get the um, clutch nut just kind of snug onto the flywheel. You don't want to really crank down on it or it will for sure cut the zip tie. From there, you can just take a big set of pliers and go ahead and tighten down the clutch nut the rest of the way. And you just want to then, from there, uh, let the thread lock dry for a little bit. Go ahead and install your clutch shoes, bearings, and bell, and then you're ready to hit the track.